<laughs> we're starting our day uh, a little bit weird for Labor Day. We are actually not going to spend the day together as a family. I'll explain that here in a second. Jason is getting a little angsty, so he's <laughs> vacuuming every nook and cranny. But I've started doing um, protein drink. I've got my protein powder in chocolate flavor, and then I've got the peanut butter powder as well. So I did this yesterday. I've got banana, milk, ice, and then my powders and some, I think that's it. But sure. I used my big mixer yesterday, or my big blender yesterday, and I'm trying to like minimize. <laughs> Show them. Show them the problem. So my problem with this blender, I got this for Kaylee when she got her braces on a couple years ago, but it's warped. It got put in the dishwasher. Yeah. So, oh, I'm losing like all my powder. I should just put it in the other one. So the lid doesn't go on. So, see now oh, it's doing, doing it better. okay. But this is just pointless. I'm losing like all my powder and milk to this napkin. And it's just all over the counter. Good job keeping things clean, hon. Huh? Yeah. So I'm going to be getting a new little uh, magic bullet or something. Maybe we can just buy a new top to it. I don't think you can. I mean, these are like 20 bucks at tar Target. It's uh -oh. like not that big a deal. Uh, just throw it away. Send it to the landfill. Can you not? <laughs> He's also in a mood. I'm not in a mood. You I'm are insane. in a mood. But they are good here. A little good little close up of Ooh, my. I can't see what I'm filming because you make me flip it up. There. Can you see it? Yep. Oh, that's really chunky. It's good for you. Oh, I didn't put my banana in. You said you didn't like banana. I did. I didn't like the banana yesterday. So let's see if I like it without. The problem is the banana adds texture to it. So. Is it good? Whoa, that's peanut butter. You can taste the peanut butter. I think I could be on board with not without having the banana. And I gotta clean up my mess. Welcome to our day, I guess. <laughs> mess and all. All right, now that my drink is made and all our mess is cleaned up, I'll talk to you about what Chelsea and Ashley are gonna go do. They are going swimming. So they've got their bags packed with a little snack and looks like Chelsea has like an orange and a fruit bar. She's got her towel and a mask. Look how good these kids are. Okay, so they've got that packed. Their friends invited them to go to their club pool. I actually think I wanna pay for that next year, save up for that, but another story so they're gonna take them and go swimming for two hours you have to like sign up for little chunks of time in order to go swim and so they're gonna go for about three hours three and a half hours and go and play with their friends which is great that's what they're going to do Jason and I are gonna go to Costco not a huge haul we're just gonna get like our some of our normal we actually have a lot of stuff we still have eggs we still have butter we still have you know what I mean like the, some of the regular stuff but we're almost out of milk and I need to get a few extra things. So, including vitamins, which Jason just got vitamin D3 yesterday. I think he already put it away. So that's our plan for today. Not our usual Labor Day. Last year was not our usual Labor Day activities. Going boating with all of our friends from church. It's not gonna be a family day. And we just have to be okay with that. The girls are gonna go and have fun and it is what it is. And then we can have a normal bedtime, normal dinner time, normal bedtime, and go back to school tomorrow. All right, I'm in here kind of packing up our swim stuff officially. I'm gonna go put it out in the garage. This is only part of their swimsuits and towels and whatnot, but I'm gonna leave this stuff out because I'm hopefully gonna be able to use it for our trip coming up. This is gonna be Jason's towel and then this is my towel. I've got two face sticks here and then I'll get the, the face sunscreen or the regular sunscreen that the girls just took to the pool. And I've got my towel and I figured I might as well just use these wet wipes rather than have them sit for another year. And then I've got my new little black swim cover. It's just like a wrap and then my bag. So I'm gonna put all of my stuff into this bag. I'm gonna take it upstairs to my room for now. And then these are swimsuits that no longer work for us. I'll just go ahead and either don't them or throw them away and then I also have a pair of goggles put that in here so this is gonna go straight out to our swim bucket out in the garage and this will go up to our room oh this goes out to the garage too I won't need any of this sunscreen I've got one that I'll use from the girls and then I still need to order our reef safe sunscreen that I'm gonna take I'm gonna have to order one online because I still haven't found one like at Target and stuff um, I'm gonna keep checking maybe I'll check today I do have to go to Target I'm gonna go put these outside keep checking can you bring that bag and put that out there too? Ooh, what? Just bring it out? 
Yeah, we'll put it away. <laughs> so apparently we have never come to Costco on Labor Day. Along with those people. Yeah, there's <laughs> these people here are obviously like us and didn't know that it was actually closed. All right, bank is closed, so he can't get quarters for the store. Should have known that. I wasn't. Yeah, thinking. I wasn't thinking. I didn't think Costco was closed, but we literally have not gone to Costco on Labor Day. We're always going to this boating activity for church. I don't know that we've ever gone to a store on Labor Day. So, Target. Yep. Okay, so you'd think that this is our first time coming to Target. But it's our second. Got Claire in the car, deciding what to do next, and I realized I have an activity to do tomorrow for church, and I didn't get anything that I was supposed to here at Target for it. So, back in we go. And I'm doing disposable masks for a little while to see if I can clear up my face. So we're doing a saran wrap ball. So we should actually go get some, some clean wrap. Um, but you wrap up the candy in the saran wrap and then they have to use oven mitts to get it un unwrapped from the ball. Well, I'll show you. Abby will make it for me when we get home and it'll be a fun activity. It'll be fun. All right, so we just finished at Target again, but I also got some containers. What's it doing? If you are, if you have been following along, Oh, can I get some sanitizer? I redid underneath the bathroom counter as well as the uh, laundry room counter. And I found some of those little containers that I'm gonna put uh, like the, the hairspray and mousse and, and cleaning supplies in to go underneath the bathroom counter. And I got some for the kitchen counter to see if I can redo that whole area because it's kind of been kind of janky. He doesn't have much faith that I can get it organized, but. <laughs> If he has not learned about my organization skills, then I, I don't know what 25 years together has done. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I can say. Is that how long we've known each other? Yeah. 20 years of marriage and... 20 years of marriage and four and a half years together. Look at that. It just feels like 10 years. <laughs> it feels like 25. <laughs> feels like 25. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, he needs to have a driving... Yeah, he needs to have a student driver sticker on his car. I say we make Kaylee keep her driving sticker on the uh, car that, that lady after she has her license. Sticker on it too. Uh, Kaylee takes her driving test. We're just gonna chat. She takes her driving test in less than three weeks, so she needs to get out and drive today and practice some parallel parking. Are we going anywhere? Yes, lunch. Now we're hungry for lunch. We're like, oh, we're not quite hungry for lunch. Oh, we gotta fix the back. So she's gotta get out and practice see how she feels today um, but with school she doesn't get to practice much and I don't want to lose the skills that she's worked so hard to gain before she takes her test I have not found an appointment time to get the actual driver's license at an office so that's kind of a problem so I have to just stay on top of that and keep checking on that because I don't know how good it is if you like if she passes the test but doesn't get the actual physical driver's license and she gets pulled over, will she get in trouble? Uh, I'm asking you. Yeah, or I you guys. You have to like actually get the physical. My thing is, if we're gone on our vacation, you can she drive? A, you don't have a license, you don't have a license. I don't. I know, but she's passed the test. She's technically gotten the license. But they just haven't sent it to her yet? No, we have to go in and get it. We and have it to make. Won't, it won't show up in their system, so I don't. I don't know. I don't See, that's, it, that's my thing no, is that we go on our trip right when she needs to be getting then the actual she'll tell physical. the cops that my parents left town and left us alone. And <laughs> no. So then they'll think that they've been abandoned. And oh, he's dramatizing this whole thing. We're gonna get lunch. We'll be back. All right, so we got our candy from Target and our press and seal from Glad. And then these are the containers that I got, the ones that hook to each other on the sides. It's back in the school section. So I got three of those and I'm gonna work on that really quick. And then I got my first um, Christmas toy or present. <laughs> so don't tell Ashley, but this is what she's, one of the things that she's gonna get. She plays with this kinetic sand so, 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 so much. But I know she likes to like shape it. So I'm actually gonna look at getting some other shapes for her um, because I think she's gonna really enjoy this. So it comes with a couple packs of the kinetic sand, but then it has these little molds. So. 
I am actually starting on Christmas shopping and getting an idea of what people want, but I gotta go hide that. And then we got, so I'll just show you the different vitamins that we're gonna start doing. We got melatonin. Everyone is still like transitioning back to school, sleep schedules, and they all kind of need to have that right now, including Kaylee and Abby. They come into the room quite often and ask for me to give them some of mine. And then we got some multivitamins, and then Jason actually got the other day, he was able to get some D3, vitamin D3. So I've been taking that, and Jason's been taking that. And then they need to take this, and they were out of the Flintstones vitamins that are hard, not the gummy. Gummy um, vitamins cannot carry iron. Iron doesn't work in gummy ones. So you have to get the Flintstones vitamins that have iron in it, and they didn't have any left at Target. I'll look for some at Costco. I think Jason's gonna take the morning off and co go to Costco with me in the morning because he really needs to get some disposable masks for his employees. One of them, um, she's having the same problem I'm having with the masks and makeup and her face breaking out. And she's like, I can't wash them fast enough. And so, cause it's just her and her husband. And so she doesn't have loads of laundry like I do. <laughs> and so she's like, can you please help me find some disposable masks and masks? And they didn't have them at Target today. So he's like, I actually need to go and get that before I go to work to get some for her. So then the only other things we got were conditioner. It's funny cause I got, um, I don't know if you remember back when we went on vacation to see my family down in Utah. I took shampoo and conditioner with me because they don't, my parents, they just don't stock up their bathrooms, the two extra bathrooms in their house. But I took some and okay, so let me just tell you, like when you see the white, like on the shelf, you think conditioner, correct? No, I got two large ones like this and they were both shampoo. So I took four containers of shampoo. <laughs> No conditioner, none. So I have a lot of shampoo, but I don't have any conditioner now. So I stocked up on that. I actually just show you over here on the stairs. I unpacked some of the swimming stuff, swimming bags, and I found the extra two <laughs> bags of shampoo. See, it's white. See, just like the other one, coconut flavor scented or whatever, but it's shampoo. So <laughs> I have a lot of shampoo now and no conditioner. Okay, so what else do we got? Oh, I got some more Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm gonna stop eating those chicken tenders. They're too good. I need to go to get the chicken. They have rotisserie chicken tenders at Costco and I'm gonna try those because they don't have the breading. Anyway, that's what we've got, but I've gotta see if Abby will do the little candy ball bat uh, game for the kids activity tomorrow. So if you haven't ever played this game and wanna play it with your kids or your grandkids or a birthday party, um, let me tell you how you do this really quick. So you take candy, and I'm doing this with 14 different kids, I think, 14 plus kids. So you have your candy, and you start wrapping it in saran wrap. I got the cling wrap, because I feel like it sticks to itself better. And you just take one or two pieces of candy, and then you wrap it. And then you add a piece of candy to the outside, and then you wrap it. And you keep going until you have a large saran wrap ball. And then the kids have to use an oven mitt on their hands to unwrap it. So I need to clean mine, obviously. I should actually put those in the wash. You have to have oven mitts on your hands, which is perfect for sanitary purposes, right? COVID. And then they have a their timer. Oh, say hi, Jace. Hey, hey. Then their timer is that you roll dice. And the first, and as soon as you get doubles, you have to pass the ball to the next player. So that's kind of how you time each person's turn. And, and then, it, so it goes fast. And so we're gonna have the kids each sit on their own blanket, six feet apart, in a giant circle on the grass outside, even better. And then they kind of have to toss it to the next blanket and person so that they're not coming anywhere close to each other. So it's like the perfect socially distanced game for kids to play. So I'm actually really excited about it. When Chelsea found out yesterday that I was going to combine with Chelsea's class and Ashley's class, she was like, oh, that's so boring to like have to play with the younger kids. And I'm like, you play with your younger sister every day. But I was like, we're playing the candy game. And she was like, oh, then okay, we can do it. So it should be a fun time. All right, now is my time to see if this will work. I'll show you what it looks like before. Also look at Abby's cookies. I love having a baker, but I <laughs> these ones I am very tempted to eat because they're so good. These are squig cookies for anyone who knows about Utah cookies and that whole shenangle. 
Shenanigans. What? I don't know what that word is. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But anyway, here's the mess that I'm trying to solve down here. I have a basket down there, but nothing stays in its place. So that's where these come in. All right, so we're gonna clean this guy out here. Put everything up on top and see if I can make this work a little bit better. How many people have like a million bags underneath their kitchen sink? Okay, that's gonna get trashed. So I'm gonna test like the jar thing. I'm gonna put these guys down into the jar. Obviously a new container full isn't gonna fit, so I guess I just keep refilling it, keep this in the garage when it's brand new and just keep filling it up from here. I mean, that gets a lot in there. It fits everything that I've got in there. I'm gonna put that in here. What else can I get in here that I need on a regular basis? Cleaner, I really like. See? Sort of checking out. Come here, come and see. Wow, that is organization. You're such a douche. No, it is. <laughs> Recycle and garbage. Come on. Voila. See, now he sees what it's like to not know what I'm going to say when he's filming. I know, filming's tough. So he put all the bags. Action. <laughs> <laughs> he put all the bags inside this one Target bag to keep them contained, but then I just tuck it next to the tubs. And these are hooked together. So this has a spot. I think it's great. It's, it is good. Time to cut. Cut. <laughs> All right, so I've been issued a challenge by Dana to take this tub that uh, we just got and then go in the, what am I, go in the bathroom and see if I can match what she's supposed to do. Matt, yeah, see if, if you can figure out what I would have done with that tub. Why I bought it. This is the great new, forget bucket challenge. This is the organization challenge for husbands mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna sweep the nation i'm sure <laughs> yeah if husbands actually do it that would sweep the nation quite right. literally it would so we're gonna go in there and i'm gonna see what i can shove in this bucket go <laughs> i'm assuming it's down here right well that's the only storage space in the bathroom so that's a good well, shot there's all this stuff up here that nobody seems to be putting anything with but i know you don't want this sitting up on some shelf Ding, 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 first win. It won't fit. Perfect. <laughs> Organized. Okay. Now, how about you take it back out? Why? And try and fit it next to the other ones. It won't go next to the other ones. Why not? If you move those things it's over, it will. Pipe. It's called a drain, a drain pipe. It goes down the middle and it fills up the middle. It won't fit underneath it. You're gonna get at these more than you're gonna get at these. So why would you wanna shove these all the way back there? I'm just saying, you just test things out and see. Okay. Okay. Oh, bucket challenge. Husband wins. You got the easy end of it. I already did all the cleaning and organizing. <laughs> I hear some giggly happy kids. Yeah. How are you? Good. Have a good time? Go back out. Your mask matched today. How cute. She has all blue. Yeah. She has all blue. Oh, there's Callie. Are you cold? Yeah. Okay, go yeah, put that. Me. I know. Yeah, the windows open. Yeah. Yes. It's freezing because you're all <laughs> wet. You kind of slushy. And now I'm all cold. But she did the right thing, windows open, masks on. Yeah. yeah. Well, except for her. You guys have got to be proud of yourselves. It's been 18 months and none of you have gotten sick. High five. Actually, hey. I right? Uh, you didn't get COVID, so. Okay. I had a cold. We had a cold. We had cold. Okay, go shower. No, you're just going to change? Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, Ashley. This is your problem. Ashley Brown. Okay, well, she just took it. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, she had more dough. She just didn't make them all the other day. I uh, know, I saw the entire bag. Chelsea, did you have fun? Yeah. Those are for me. Ooh. Um, Abby's upstairs making your candy ball. You had fun? Yeah, we're gonna probably go to the sprinklers. Oh, okay. Maybe, we don't know. We played capture the flag in the pool. Well, that's fun. 
It was like confusing because you don't hide it on the floor. You have to hide it in your hands. Oh. Yeah. So Callie, I was so <laughs> sneaky because they didn't close off the deep end. So when nobody said we could, yeah, when they were in jail, she oh. hid the deep end. She chucked it underwater, so I grabbed it. Oh, then you won. Well, they didn't win. Good job. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, technically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna go out. Are you hungry or something? Is that why you're looking in the snack cupboard? <laughs> No, I'm kind of just looking Ooh, around. I don't actually look for stuff. I just look. Yeah, there's nothing healthy in that one. You might as well look in the fridge for an apple or an orange. There's nothing healthy in this one. Um, Let's see. Oh, all right, fair enough. So, Ashley like got a little, little candy. I know. This is one that Abby's putting into her little candy ball. She's not even extreme. Not even extreme? No. No. I mean, fair point. Well, it doesn't, sour, it no, doesn't no, say no, that no. it's sour. I don't know what the extreme is. It is, is it extreme flavor? Extreme bites. Yeah, I don't know. It's good though. Okay. Hey, Charles. Lay that towel out right away. Oh, those are cute. I thought that guy. Those are cute. Was a broccoli. Okay, Chelsea, lay your towel right out so it can start to dry. Will you just take Ashley's and go lay hers out? She's coming. She's coming. She's just going to the bathroom. Do you want? Can you wait for her? Wait for her. Wait. Chelsea, she took your towel. I want you to go lay it out on the grass mm -hmm. and dry it out, and then we'll wash it when you're done. Okay? Where is it? Where is my old sunspot? Outside. Well, the gray ones aren't outside. The white ones were. Yeah. Did you wear a gray one and a white one? You gonna find the other. <laughs> you wore two different colors. <laughs> I, well, they look exactly well, it's right here then. Take that one. Take two. You're such a weirdo. Okay, have fun. Probably one of your last summer days. Go and enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, bye. All right, I might need to stop doing my editing here and actually go back to being a mom. <laughs> Get the night more on schedule. So I'm going to take this footage and put you into the computer. And we'll be right back. So I've got a little sunburned. It's really not too bad. I know it hurts. Just a little bit on your shoulders, a little bit right here. It's not too bad. Just our last little burn of the summer, right? But this is gonna be a fun activity for tomorrow night. You wanna tell them about the saran wrap ball? Come here. Yeah, so, but you can't use your hands like that, can you? What should we do? I think we should use oven mitts. Should we do one hand? No, I think that's too easy. No, it isn't. Yeah, I think that's too easy. I think we're gonna use oven mitts. Abby did a really good job. She's the one who uh, made the, the ball for me today. It'll be a fun activity tomorrow night, right? You gotta make yourself dinner, okay? So that's nice, that's kind of... Because we didn't go to Costco, it's closed today. <laughs> I didn't get anything that we had on our list today, but we're going in the morning. All right, I'm gonna put this in here. That is all I need for our activity tomorrow night besides blankets. So that's easy and done. We're doing... Leftovers for dinner, I've got corn, or not corn, I've got pineapple and olives and green beans because I'm going to do leftover rice and um, gravy. Abby, do you want that for your dinner? Oh, uh, what? Rice and gravy? Yeah, like Hawaiian chicken leftover. Sure. Yeah. So I figured Abby and I would eat that. And then when I made the chicken the other day, I made it in the Instant Pot, which it works really good except for it's just like a plain chicken but I made um I'll show you this I made this barbecue kind of like pulled chicken so there's the pulled chicken and Kaylee has actually eaten this for lunch and dinner multiple times it made a lot she is now at her friend's football practice she said she rested most of the day and then went out and she is going not his practice she's going to her friend's football game he is a freshman so he's on the younger team but so she won't be home for dinner time, but she can warm that up for herself. And then Jason's gonna have that for dinner as well. So anyway, we're just kind of getting normal like night routine. I'm gonna get Jason. Can you turn the TV off and come for dinner, babe? All right, so I've got my rice going here. I just need everyone, they're tired after being at the pool all day. So I just need to kind of keep everyone on schedule. Looks like Abby got herself some, ooh, is that warm? Yeah. And then do you put cinnamon in it? That sounds good. Oh, I've got cinnamon. Mm. Let me get it here. All right, these guys are doing something really cute. We didn't do this last night because we didn't have school today, so I just kind of got it out of my head. But she is doing a little 
assembly line for your sandwiches. <laughs> and this is a good little process. They've actually really liked taking them this way for school. And they, they, do they soften up really good for when you sit down to eat your lunch? Yeah. Right? So, and Kaylee has started making them herself. She makes two of them and packs them for herself for school. And this is just a good little system. So we need 10 sandwiches ten. for you and Ashley, you, her and Chelsea. Ooh, we're gonna run out because we couldn't go to the store today. Well, they don't need any more because we've already made their sandwich. Uh, ah. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get 10. We'll use as much bread as we have and then we'll make more tomorrow when we have bread. We might call it a night with this video. This cutie needs to go to bed. You're tired, huh? Chelsea is showered and upstairs and resting as well. She's very tired. Her friend actually brought her some cookies that she had made her today and I asked her if she wanted, but they were both in the shower getting ready for bed. I asked her if she wanted to run around the corner and tell her thank you at her house for bringing the cookies. And she's like, I can't run. She's like, I'm so tired right now. I cannot run up the street at all. Like, I'm so tired. So I gotta get them dinner really quick at 6.15. And we're doing really good with our schedule. Back on track. I don't know why my rice is not cooking. And look, I'm not very, making very much. I'm gonna have a very limited amount of rice tonight. Let Abby have some. We are gonna call it a night with you guys and we'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.